I'm Johnny. It's been a while. One of my Twitter followers posted this thing from this super big video blogger that I found rather poignant. But we're not going to be staring into the void today. For this new season, we're going to talk about journaling. Now, when I say journaling, there's this built-in gender role thing happening. Journaling brings up images of Pinterest and washi tape and scrapbooking. But journaling is a thing that can have a very masculine appeal too. And in fact, many highly regarded artists and writers have kept a journal. What is a mad beat science logbook, but another funky word for journal. And as I've mentioned in other past episodes, journaling can actually give you a lot. So we're going to talk a little bit about my process and how I do it. And this means something because this is coming up to the end of my fifth year journaling in this very consistent method. Well, consistently inconsistent. So 2011 was this super intense year for both Shell, my wife, and I. We had just gotten remarried after 10 years in the deserts of Burning Man. We had all these incredible changes happen to us both individually and together as a couple. And at the culmination of all this for Christmas, Shell gave me this Hello Kitty journal. It's more like a day timer than a journal. And I wasn't sure how I was going to use it because I'd already had this whole getting things done thing and was using it inside Emacs, like somebody who knows the way, the truth, and the light. So what was I going to do with a day timer? I was already organized and already organized in the digital, but I decided to quit smoking and I came up with a brainwave to draw a cute character every day so I could stave off Dark Mother Nicotine's siren song. Oh, Dark Mother. Once again, I suckle at your smoky teeth. But that actually got me into the habit of of making notes about cool and interesting things that I had discovered that week and chronicling my days. And then at the end of the week, what I would do is I would collect all the notes of the week and I would try to distill them down into tiny pictures that would fit into the calendar section of the month. And this continued on and on and on and on. And by the time December rolled around, I found that A, I was getting kind of sick of my old ratty tattered journal and B, I was excited to start a new one for the next year. So this process of collecting ideas and thoughts and feelings throughout the week and then regurgitating them on a weekly or monthly basis and distilling them I found to be actually quite something. It's not just satisfying and empowering sounds so cheesy, but it had mojo to it. And as I came to the end of that year, I found it even more satisfying and interesting to sum up distilling the essence of that year down to one page. So here I am, and I wanted to distill all five years down to one page page. I'm looking forward to the challenge. One thing I found, it's easier to spot the patterns that happen in my life. Also in the patterns of my thinking, the ways in which my thinking is not smart, the ways in which my thinking is broken, the ways in which I'm not the most emotionally mature. And some years are easier to look back on than others. Like everybody's saying 2016 is a dumpster fire. Don't get me wrong. It is but I have my own personal dumpster fire year. And you better believe that's going to be a hard one to look at. Last year, I found this thing called the year compass. Links down the double doo Similar to what I've been doing, it presents you with a way to look back at the past year and more importantly, reset the compass for next year and look at what your goals actually are, where you want to go and how did you fall down and how did you really climb back up? It gives you a really interesting spin for the next year. But this is not the only way that you can journal. For instance, my daughter has got a whole lot of journals for all her different kinds of projects, and they're very freeform. Shell and I are going to have a meat journal. A smoke journal. Uh, a, a smoke journal or a meat journal? Smoking different. We're smoking different things. It's true, and it's not just about the meat, but I mean, come on. A meat journal? A meat journal. Okay. Meat. So Shell and I are going to do a meat journal. Meat. Meat. We're going to log all the different smoking adventures. Smoked salt, smoked cheese, smoked meat, of course. But there's really no rule around this kind of thing. You just kind of pick it up and go and find something that really works for you. Do you journal already? Is there a method to your madness? Let me know in the comments below. I missed you guys. And remember, beat scientist logbooking is fun.